After almost 13 years of continuous warfare, ISR became a decisive force against, across the joint operational environment and contributed more to tactical and operational success than ever before. We face a turbulent future as we reduce, reconstitute, and reset our ISR enterprise. We are rebalancing to the Pacific while simultaneously fighting in Afghanistan and embarking on a sharp reduction in the size of our Air Force. And now, as evidenced by the headlines this morning, the crisis is in Ukraine is on the front page. To meet the insatiable demand for ISR from national leaders, the intelligence community combatant commands and joint force coalition and functional component commanders, we must continue to provide and present superior capabilities across the entire spectrum of conflict. We must transition rapidly from a target-based, inductive approach to ISR that is centered on processing, exploitation, and dissemination, or PED, to a problem-based, deductive, active, and anticipatory approach that focuses on end-to-end -end ISR operations, which includes planning and direction, collection, processing and exploitation, analysis and production, and dissemination, or PCPAD. We must prepare for an era of warfare requiring new levels of cross-domain collaboration, operational level command and control, and the dynamic integration of national, theater, and tactical capabilities across the full range of military operations. Since I'm focusing on ISR in a contested environment, I thought it would be appropriate to expound upon contested and highly contested. We use the adjective contested for an environment in which an adversary possesses the capabilities to deny our ability to operate or restrict our freedom of action in air, space, or cyberspace. Whereas in a highly contested environment, an adversary possesses the capabilities to offer prohibitive interference in one or more domains that requires application of advanced warfighting techniques and capabilities to create desired effects. Some argue that for the last 13 years, we focused exclusively on irregular warfare, counterinsurgency, and counterterrorism. Well, when people are dying in combat, the first and most important task of our entire military, and really of the entire government, is to fight and win the current war. Now that we've been out of Iraq for a few years and are on the path to sustain stability operations in Afghanistan, however amorphous that term may be at the moment until we determine what the final presence will be at the end of this year, it is eminently reasonable and, I suggest, obligatory to ask very legitimate questions about the opportunity costs of the last decade of continuous warfare, about the reduction in training and preparation for operations in a far more complex, deadly fight that we are likely to face over the next decade. ISR is very much part of that dialogue. 